Hi, I'm Dr. Brian McGuckin. I'm continuing my conversation with Dr. Russell Jaffe on the science behind inflammation. We have quite a bit of the digestive back pain connection. We've had a, a lot of that this summer. Maybe it's just all the barbecues are catching up. <laughs> but the, but the, um, uh, the, the other thing that we've noticed quite a bit lately is the, when we do the test and the person's allergic, has this sensitivities to corn, the corn sweeteners specifically send people into eating frenzies. Yes. And then the weight gain is enormous. They can't right. lose any weight at all. The, the hormones for the, uh, you're, you're, never, you're never full, you're always hungry, are just shut off. And it's just, it's maddening. Um, uh, but, but the prevalence of it is more well, and it, more. It's, and now, more. it's now coming into full view. Over half of the food that many young Americans and Europeans eat are ultra processed packaged goods designed to create the crave factor, which I will translate as addicting your yeah. tongue, your brain, your digestive tract to more, more, more. Now, this is very good for sales of these uh, artificially produced, crisped and chipped and inappropriately sweetened, inappropriately oiled, inappropriately uh, salted, they do cause addiction. And my answer is go ultra processed free. You they have can to go free of ultra processed foods and eat whole foods in a wide variety of ways, but they are immuno, immuno compatible, immune compatible, very important. If there's a specific food that you like that is eating away at your health, you should substitute for a certain period of time to reset digestion, to reset your immune defense and repair system, because there's half of your immune system is lining the digestive tract. Yeah. And just a few yeah. decades ago, I was taught that this was vestigial or vestigial, which meant we didn't know what it did, so it didn't, wasn't important. And now what are called Peyer's patches, are known to be in communion, in constant conversation with the digestive tract and the metabolism. They're the interface between the digestive outside world and the inside metabolic world. So very important as you are doing it to, to make care comprehensive and personal. Yeah, good, good. The other thing we see uh, where I'm at um, is environmental um, exposure and it's really nice it's i'm grateful the the lra test does as many chemicals as it does it, we we see these uh, horrific inflammatory responses when these chemicals deposit and that's why i was asking the original questions of where do how do they deposit um, the well cell now now when we start talking about the anti-nutrients the persisting organic yeah. pollutants, the forever molecules, the hormone disruptors, the solvent residues, the toxic metals, the mold products, the isotopes, these are all anti-nutrients. Now you can reduce by about 80% your exposure to these harmful anti-nutrients that deplete the body of the repair necessary essential nutrients. Well, I think we've all experienced what Dr. Jaffe's talking about. I'll use chips as an example. Think about chips and salsa. How many chips can you eat? At some point you're satisfied. But now let's get the chips with all the colorings on it, all the flavorings, all the wowy, the, the label. You can eat the whole bag and then you want more. The reason is, is those additives, those flavoring agents, they stimulate the brain. The brain gets excited and wants more stimulation and that's the craving. And we can eat more and more and more. The problem is there's no antioxidants in a chip. And at some point, you're gonna fill up with chemicals and not have enough antioxidants. So those chemicals are gonna settle someplace in your body, and that's the beginning of inflammation. Now that inflammation is gonna cause swelling. At the same time I'm swelling, I'm starting to slow down. 
I can't turn my food into energy without antioxidants and I'm getting overwhelmed. At the same time, my brain's saying, eat more. Eat more of what? The stuff that we crave. I'm gaining weight from what I'm eating and I'm eating too much because my brain's telling me to and at the same time, I'm swelling and I'm bloated and I'm slowing down, I'm not as active and I'm gaining weight on that end. And then we're in trouble. We're in a pickle. I just want a pickle. I want, what I want you to do is read labels. So think about it. I want a cucumber, vinegar, salt, and water. That would be a pickle. Some dill, something. But that's it. I don't want sodium benzonate. I don't want yellow food coloring. I don't want all the other stuff because I'm going to use all my cell energy to remove it. How about bread? Just flour, salt, water, yeast. It's clean. Bromates are used in bread as a preservative. There's nothing wrong with vitamin C in your bread, ascorbic acid, but the bromate, that's a heavy chemical. And that's what I want you to do. Read labels in a grocery store. Be a detective in a grocery store. Go through everything and make sure it's clean. Organic when you can. I love grapes. I have to eat the, the California organic grapes. The standard grapes are fungicided and that residue has to be removed with antioxidants. And they slow me down. I get tired, I get fatigued, I don't feel good after eating standard grapes. There's a reason. So I use the organic grapes. So from a goal standpoint, eat organic when you can, when it's practical. Read labels in the grocery store. Be smart. Stay away from corn. The corn syrups, they they mess with the, chem the hormones in the brain. We're, what they do is they alter how we respond to food intake. And too much of the corn syrups, you're never full, you're always hungry. And you go into overeating frenzies, adding, again, adding to our problems. So do your best. In the next video, we're going to talk about a whole body makeover. How do these things affect our internal organs? How do we get these chemicals out of our body in a practical day-to-day -day scenario? What do we do more with our bodies? So thanks for watching. Looking forward to seeing you soon.